Hello and welcome to your next tutorial in Visual Basic and today we're going to be discussing how to organize your data and the two different ways we're going to learn this time around are enumerations and structures and well uh, I, I, I really want to stress because since we're getting into more or less intermediate stuff now to have a textbook even if you're not taking a class if uh, and I know not everyone can really afford one so if you went to like Microsoft's MSDN website you could uh, find additional information because uh, no video tutorial will be able to show you everything so I don't want you to think that I'm showing you everything or anything because uh, not, not trying to discourage you from watching this it's it's that uh, no video tutorial can show you everything and, th and this stuff is going to get more complicated but anyways let's uh, figure out how to create an enumeration first before we do structures so enumerations exactly what are they well basically it's you creating your own data type and you set the bounds you set what specifically what values can be used or to be associated with that data type so let's say I think it was double I think the double data type ranged from like negative 32,000 to positive 32,000 it was one of them I, I can't remember but uh, basically it's it's telling you what is valid with that data type and what isn't so now we're gonna do that and these guys will be used for structures in a, in a moment so you don't have to worry about these so I have no code as you can see so let's create an enumeration so private enum so enum is the uh, keyword you use here and what do we want to call it in this example I'm gonna use the different parts of the day so I'll call it daylight as and then these are the different data types that you can use to associate with this enum or enumeration so they're just all integers basically so I'm just going to use integer and the errors because we have no members so let's create a member alright so anytime you use the number zero associated with this uh, data type that we created it will associate itself with morning so you don't have to use you know you don't have to type in more or we will have to type in morning ourselves in, our, in this example but basically when zero is associated with this enumeration it'll think of morning basically and you'll see what I mean in a moment or in later so what are some different parts of the day noon equals one uh, I don't know evening is two and eh, I'm not gonna do all of them there's also night or afternoon whatever you wanna do should I do them all nah, nah, I won't do them all but uh yeah, nah, nah, I won't. I won't. So, uh, so yeah. So these are the values that you want to have returned anytime you're associating yourself with this enumeration via these values. And you'll see what I mean. And it doesn't have to be with these values. There's another way which I don't really recommend, but y you'll see in, in a moment. So let's create a button. Let's call it a. I don't know. Let's call it check and btn check and basically we want to return we want an input box to be created we type in what part of the day and it will return that part of the day this is a pretty bad example because we're going to be literally typing in these words and it will be returning these words but you can think of other ways that, to use these I, I'm just eh. but uh, let's see here so first of all let's create a variable called input as string and oh my goodness and I'll set this equal to an input box and I'll say what part of the day is it and type in morning night something like that give them an idea of what to type in so they don't make a mistake so let's throw an example and a question mark and default value, I don't know, type here, something like that. And you know what? Let's uh, return what they should actually be eating instead. So they're going to type in morning or whatnot, breakfast, lunch. See, I'm doing it. I'm doing this all off the top of my head. This is. I don't always do that. I'm sorry. I don't. I usually I have notes for everything, but other times I'm. I don't know. I, I just think I can do it. I, I'm terrible. Though. I'm terrible. I'm sorry. But okay, so we're going to create a variable. It will be equal to the string of whatever we type in. And before we actually do anything with that, let me just show you how to access your enumeration. So this is just going to be nothing. You don't have to worry about that. Let me just make it a comment. 
So how do you access the information in you in here? So uh, let's create a variable called uh, let's call it check and as the data type. So the one we created in this enumeration is daylight. So I'll call it daylight. And then you can set it equal to one of these guys, really. This is the bad way. I don't I don't I never really use it this way. You can use it this way, it doesn't matter. But uh let's just go with breakfast. And let's have that pop up. So message box dot show. We type in the check that we just created dot to string and then output and then okay information that should pretty much work out right so click check and we get breakfast back because it says you know this this variable this check is equal to daylight which is this dot breakfast which is this guy and it just returns that value and of course you can just return the value on this side as well and it can be you know whatever you type in really it can so I'll go with uh, where am I going? I'm going to go with zero. So that works. You click save. And it should still return breakfast. And it does. Now there's going to be a bit of a problem. If I type in two, I now get a option strict disallows conversion from integer to the enumeration that we created. So in order to uh, get around this, we can type out the C type, which is something I've not gone over before. This is like C int or C double or whatnot. And we want to be able to convert it. We can't use C int, for an example, because it just can convert it to an integer. It's not going to convert it to this enumeration that we created. So what you do is, in in the C type, when you use C types, uh, let me just uh, make a note here. So the value you want converted goes first, comma, and the data type that you want to convert it to. This is how you use the C type. So we want to convert the two to this specific data type. So it's daylight. There it is. So we want to convert the number two to the daylight enumeration that we created. So I click save. So that's our way of getting around the option strict, because you always want to have that on. And now we get dinner, because two is associated with dinner. All right, so let's, uh, I'm actually going to cut this. And now let's create a series of if statements to uh, mess with whatever we type in. So if, let's create an if statement here. And the, I actually want to get rid of this right here. So if input is equal to morning, so the person types in morning, then uh, let's paste this. Control V. And let's see here. Cut this. and paste. Uh, oh, whoops. We want to have that a string right there. If we type in a string of morning, then this will pop up. And let's make an else. Because I don't want to... I actually... I'm kind of lazy. I, well, it's not that I'm lazy. I can't actually fit this all in here. So if we didn't get everything correct... So I'm just going to do this for morning. You can check for each value they type in. So you could have it night and what whatnot. So, uh, oh, we got to declare this guy. So copy, paste, there we go. And this, this is actually, we don't need this here. This is an error. So instead of having this guy right here, you just make it invalid input. There we go. So I click save. So now it's going to ask me, what part of the day is it? Morning is the only one that works because that's all I typed in. And we get dinner because I didn't change that back to a zero. Sorry about that. But we want that to we want that to be breakfast instead. But that's how that works. And you can create a bunch of else, else ifs. And that's just a little example of how you can use enumerations. That's pretty cool, right? Now let's learn about structures. I, ooh, I hope I can fit this all in one video. You know what? I don't think I can. So I'm just going to leave it here and... Yeah, I'll see you in the next tutorial, and um, we're going to learn about structures.